about the passing of Big Lion. And they should be. And they will. And it's October 24th of 2024. And we'll continue hearing about it and seeing it October 24th of 2025 and 2026 and 2027. The same way that we're still talking about Mighty Mike Quinn. Right? Because, you know, Mike was a real dude. You know, Mike said it. Mike lived it. That's why we're still talking about Rich Piana. Rich did it. Rich lived it. You know, that 5% life top, that love it, kill it. You know what I mean? And there's a, a level of respect that people like Rich Piana, Big Lenny get, Mighty Mike Quinn get, Dallas McCarver gets, you know, Don Youngblood, Masters Mr. Olympia. Guy gave it all. Guy practically gave his life to win that title. And you just, you know, Georgia Bull Peterson. I'm not trying to glamorize death or, you know, Boston Lloyd. Boston Lloyd was just, you know, he was so honest that he was almost reckless about it. I mean, maybe he was reckless about it, you know, with his own health and well-being. But you, you, you find yourself missing the people that that were just so real and didn't this didn't matter you know if there was a camera rolling you know if they were at a seminar or you know a gym event or something or an expo uh it, it, it didn't matter i mean they were who they were i mean you think that big lenny like you know trashed his apartment and cooked on a skillet with maggots just because he wanted to show off to the camera hell no that was his life every day you know what I mean? Um, on the one hand, it's sad, but on the other hand, it's liberating. He didn't care. He didn't care. He wasn't gonna like call Molly Maid to come in and clean his place. He wasn't gonna like go and buy some clothes to be some fake persona for the camera as so many people in this industry do. There are people that will rent a mansion off of Airbnb pay like three, four thousand dollars. They'll get a film, film crew, excuse me, that they can't afford anyways. They'll probably go to like uh, Fiverr, right? And they'll pay like 300, four, well, however, however much money they can get, probably get a few college kids or something from like a, like a film major or something. Uh, they'll go and rent a car for the day if they can afford it for the day. Some of these rentals you can actually rent by the hour uh, and they'll do that. They'll have the Lambo in the driveway, the mansion from Airbnb, the film crew they got off of Fiverr, the clothes, I don't know if you can rent clothes or not, but if you can, they probably rent those. At the end of the day, their bill probably looks like, I don't know, 10 Gs, 15 Gs to make a few videos, but it pays for it, you know, because they get the hits because they're deceiving the public. The people believe, oh, this guy, oh, he worked at uh, Kroger. He was a friend, uh, friend and associate, you know, he bagged groceries or, or stock shelves, both honorable, decent jobs then he found bodybuilding and he made incredible gains and now he's got a lambo a mansion a wife who's probably an escort that he got off of like wherever you can get escorts now and uh, it's all fake and you think listen if i'm lying i'm dying strike me down right now right now because i'm not i'm really not Oh, and then all the people that airbrush your pictures. Uh, you know, it's just all sorts of trickery and deception in this industry. And that is why people are still talking about Big Lenny, even though he passed, you know, a week or two ago. And we'll continue talking about Big Lenny in a year or two or three or 10 or more because he's real. Like Rich Piana was real. Like Mighty Mike Quinn was real. Like Boston Lloyd was real. These guys are real. So even though they have passed, they continue to be talked about and thought about, and they continue to inspire people. Big Lenny will be talked about forever. 